So I have just put Nimbus in with Cybin. And I'm gonna see what they do and how they interact. And I also have this that Cybin can go into if he needs to. Cybin is quite a bit smaller than Nimbus is. So I fear a little bit for Cybin and his safety. I don't know. Some turtles just really aren't good to be co some turtles just really don't do cohabitation. There's Cybin with his little scoot hanging off. But I just put Nimbus in here and I'm gonna see how they interact. It's probably gonna take them a little while to even notice that the other is in there. So, yeah. Just kind of waiting for them to... And it looks like Nimbus is still... Still kind of just sitting and processing everything. I made sure to have him in a separate tank heat for at first because you don't want to there there's a few rules about cohabitation the very first rule in cohabitation is to make sure your tank is big enough as you can see this is a 75 gallon tank for turtles there um, the rule for turtles is 10 gallons per inch of shell I believe that Sybin is um, most likely uh, about four inches or so. And I know Nimbus is four and a half inches. There's Nimbus, he's swimming up there. Simon sees him. Oh, yep. But that's the first rule. And so this is four, so, s oh, oh no, okay. Hey, Simon, hey, hey Simon. Seven. See, it's you don't want turtles harassing each other. Hey. Hey. I just don't want any nips on the face. Hey. Sybin is a little bit aggressive. He's had this tank to himself for a while, and he will get bored and. He'll go crazy at his um, rock. Do not want him. I was afraid for Slabin. Now I'm afraid for Nimbus. Okay. Second rule of cohabitation is make sure your turtles are not aggressive. If you have two aggressive turtles, then it's not going to be good. And if you have one aggressive and one non aggressive, there's going to be a lot of bullying. And turtles. I really do believe that animals can die of being depressed and such, and so if a turtle is bullied and bothered constantly, then they're just not going to live a happy life. Also, the second rule with cohabitation, is, or the third rule, I suppose, is... I don't know. Let me... I'm thinking about it. Watching these two. Looks like Simon has kind of calmed down. He seems like he was more just kind of curious, maybe curious nips. He's more, he's more looking at me now, like what's going on? Why is this turtle in my tank, mom? But, mm -hmm. and I, I suppose that's the only two rules of. Cohabitation. I'll probably think of more later. Yeah, Simon's kind of getting a little close, seeing what's going on. But they are two males. It's not good for two males, really, to, um. Ah, sometimes males can fight each other. It's better to have two females, but even females can become aggressive over time. Looks like Simon is, has his claws in. Yes, a lot of investigation right now. Oh, they're gonna. He's trying to face. He may face him and start to do his little claw thing. We will see.
Nimbus will have to learn to get used to that filter. That is a very powerful 422 gallons per hour filter. Yep, Sabin's just very interested, and I'm just introducing them right now. They're not going to stay together. Aha, yeah. The third rule of cohabitation. Oh, no, don't get close to his neck. No, don't get close to his neck, Sabin. Yeah, I just don't want Sabin to get anywhere near his neck or anything. Because turtles will, turtles can kill each other in dominance fights. It is, um, oh, yep, turtles can kill each other in dominance fights. Um, that's the third, third fact. Um, fourth rule is never put a baby hatchling in with an adult turtle. Because the adult turtle will eat the hatchling. It has happened to, um, it happened to a YouTuber, I <coughs> whom I watched the turtle videos of, and I'll have to link that video where they give that information because it is very, just very important that you don't put a hatchling in with an adult turtle. Even if the adult turtle is only Sybin's size, as long as they're an adult, you just do not want to do it. Sybin's five years old. And, yep. Honestly, from right now, it looks like Sybin thinks that, um, he thinks that Nimbus is a female. It looks like, if anything, he's trying to do his thing. Because he does, like I've said, he has mounted his rocks before. I have seen his, <coughs> I have seen his, I have seen his, um, gosh, what would be the word? I want to find a good word. I suppose I'll just use penis. His pe I have seen his penis come out before. I know he's a male. I know he wants to mate. He has mounted his rocks. So, just hopefully he kind of realizes that Nimbus is not a girl. Because Nimbus will not give any of those hormones or anything out. And it's like Seven. Yep, Seven tried to bite his leaf. Seven had better not bite his tail. Another rule about cohabitating turtles, I feel like they should always be introduced first before the turtle is put into the tank for a prolonged period of time so that they can just kind of see each other first and then kind of process how the interaction went and everything and then go ahead and go back to their tanks and just kind of, just kind of, um, process it all and be calm and so I'm not gonna leave Nimbus in here for very long I'm gonna try and leave him in here for 30 minutes and see how Sybin does with that but so far Sybin just is not stopping bothering Nimbus except for right now it seems I'm gonna go into my chair because that's where they're used to me being at I don't want to interfere by watching Yep, Simon's trying to do his thing. Looks like he is trying to, um, turtles will kind of do like this in each other's faces, either to show dominance or to mate, to show off for mating. Looks like uh, I'm trying adjusting my sleeve. 
But it really looks like Nimbus just kind of wants a break. But I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and watch him. And it looks like he left Nimbus alone. Nimbus is chilling up at the top. But I would love to co be able to cohabitate Saibin with someone because he, he has this whole tank to himself and it would just be a lot easier for water changes and everything. Nimbus is just so pretty. <laughs> Sabin is too. Very pretty tank. It's very pretty turtles in it. Here comes Elroy. Elroy, do you want to go in the tank? Yeah. 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 There. There he goes. Looks like they're about to face each other. I don't know. Si looks like Nimbus wanted to get a good look at Sybin and they faced each other for a second. But no fighting. At least not yet. No d little claw display. What's cool about Sybin is his claws are actually pretty long. For a small, for as small as he is, his claws are the same size as Nimbus's claws. make this too long so I guess I'll put down my phone for now and just watch with my eyes and I'll do a little follow-up on how everything went. It's a little hard for him to fight the current. I remember when Sabin first got in here and he had to kind of learn that the current was there and get first, used to we it. First we put him up here like there was a smaller island. Alrighty, so it has actually been a whole, um, almost a whole week since I have had um, Duckling, Nimbus, and Saibin in the, in the same tank, and they're all doing remarkably good. I'm really excited because I thought I would have to actually rehome Saibin, possibly. I thought I might have to um, have him in a different tank or move somebody or see um, how I could fix anything that might possibly go wrong but all three of them really it, turtles never really enjoy having partners in their tank they're kind of they're solitary animals they don't really mind having someone in their tank or not having someone in their tank but they can get stressed if there's another turtle in their tank but all three of them are doing absolutely remarkably amazing and here they all are right now all chilling out I'm about to feed everyone We've got the little feeding tub, but there they all are, all happy and healthy and loving it, living the life. 